match with the Thai. Uh, and so we're, we're, the, the goal is really to have a authentic, classic MPC experience on the iPad made more accessible than ever. So it's inspired by the, the 2000 era MPCs, kind of 2000, 3000 era. So, you know, it's kind of got that look and everything and also sort of some of the features and everything are inspired as well. So, I mean, the, the main console here is sort of the classic 16 pads. Uh, and then we've got sort of some of the, the features from the sort of 2000 era, like sort of no variation slider, which lets you control sort of, uh, uh, you know, some parameters on the fly while you're playing. Uh, it's got the classic NPC timing correct with uh, the sort of, you know, famous NPC swing. Um, uh, no repeat, so you can sort of hold that down and play pads like, you know, to different, uh, uh, to match the timing correct. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, 16 levels, which maps, you know, the uh, sample across all the pads, like up and down to or whatever, different parameters. Uh, and then, you know, the, we're still in development, so a lot of this stuff's grayed out, but classic sort of NPC transport, you know, so the same way that record and overdub uh, work for, for the NPCs, you know, works here. So all the sequencing and everything. So it's got, uh, you know, 99 sequences, uh, or patterns, you know, rather, uh, at least. And then each one of those has four tracks with independent, you know, four drum kits at once. So, you know, we can sort of navigate the tracks here and see some of the different drum kits. So, and you know, eventually we'll be able to pull up tables of, of all the sequences and tracks and, just, and manage them there. So, you know, we have a, a four-track mixer for the different tracks, you sort of mix and pan. You know, of course, when it's plugged into to this guy, you can have sort of the mixer up while you're playing the pads and that kind of stuff. Um, there's a uh, uh, effects bus with uh, uh, three effects, so right off the bat, you know, you can just pop on here and throw the pit crusher right on any track, so we've got like a pit crushing effect, distortion effect. There's a delay here, which is tempo single, uh, and has a filter dampen over time, and that has like a, a mix for each track, so kind of like a send, uh, aux send for, for, the, for the effects. Uh, and then there's just a master uh, compressor limiter just in the, in the, on the master channel. So uh, the real fun of this, you know, the, the NPCs are kind of first and foremost a uh, sampler at their heart. So we really wanted to make sure that sampling was a big part of this. So um, I, I can shortcut in just to edit uh, my drum kit here. So now I'm editing drums one. I've got all my pads. I can just drag them around from pad to pad, edit a couple parameters. I can just jump right into my sound library. You know, it's going to have the full Akai Pro uh, sound library here. And I can just drag those onto pads just real quick. Create, pass, create drum kits, edit drum kits. Yeah, easier than ever, right? Because we got the iPads in there. So then the really cool thing is I can I can select a pad and just shortcut right to the sampler. So this will sample from the line in, uh, the dot connector if you have some kind of uh, uh, connection for that. Like there's pro mics and stuff to make. Uh, it also sample from uh, uh, the microphone, the built-in microphone. So you can just sample right here. Yeah, yeah, you can you can just, if you have a bunch of waves or whatever, you can just drop them in through iTunes and get them right this, you know, iCloud when that's happening. So, so the, this, the iPad version won't have velocity or anything like that, just because it's kind of, you can do it, but it sort of ends up being a pain. So you get pressure and velocity off of this thing, and then when you're using a standalone, you just got, you're basically in full levels mode, you know, which is like, no, it turns off velocity. So in terms of sampling, uh, one of the, my favorite parts is this access to the music library. So I can pull up anything in my iTunes library right on the right off the bat here, load it up, and get it going on the stream table here. So again, this is kind of inspired by the classic 2000. I've got my Technic sitting next to my MPC plugged in. I'm dropping the needle where I'm you know, cutting out beats of my, my records. So I'm digging in here to my collection. I'm going to start sampling it right off the record. I can just scratch a little if I want. And then uh, when I'm done sampling, I'm in the sort of trim step. So I can trim it down and really lock into the sort of beat or phrase that I'm looking for. So like I can rename it, you know, here or whatever. Throw a tag on it and save it, and it's right on that pad right there. So now I'm just I can easily, you know, just grab from my turntable across all my pads and flip a beat right there. So uh, that's really kind of the, the, the one of the focus in terms of sampling, making a real fun sampling workflow. So um, so yeah, that's basically the the app, uh, and uh, this will be early this year, hopefully, and then the, the hardware companion. Um, a bit more mid-year side. So this, this fully functions without the hardware? Yeah, this functions standalone and then the hardware just kind of augments it. And all the, all the you know, controls of the hardware map really directly yeah, to do this. So. Bluetooth? This, uh, it plugs in with the, uh, the dock connection. So that's the iPad right there. This is like an early prototype, so I can't bang on it. Uh, 
But yeah, this will run standalone or in this thing. So it just slots in and then this case closes up. And you got a portable case. I mean, it's like this really rugged construction. How much does that cost? The, the, the hardware? Yeah. The hardware, I, you got to check with the Akai guys. But you can just use the software. You can just use the software. This will be, we're, we're still in development, so we haven't announced the price. But I, I probably can say, unless we go further and add a lot more, it's under 10. Far under 10. Yeah, so. 10. Uh, under 10. <laughs> I just can't say yet, totally. Yeah. I thought you said five, five, ten. Under ten. Because I'm about to go. I'm about to go get there right now. Dude, for you, it's five. All right. There's no say. Yeah, so. <laughs>